Hi guys, welcome back to Ryan Pet Bath and Beauty. This is just going to be a little short video as far as these gummy bears go. I have these molds that are going to be filled up with four different colors. I'm going to be using red, blue, yellow, and green. Um, I won't show, it won't fill them all up uh, on camera, but because we had discussed about using the Russian piping tip um, at the end when I'm done with all of this I will go ahead and show you the Russian piping tip so all right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these little cups because my eyedroppers um, it just takes a long time with with eyedroppers so oop. so I just fill them up with these little, oop, little cups and if they go over, no big deal. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna fill them all up with the colors. I wanna keep a little bit of the color left over because of um, there's going to be a soap dough ball at the top of these. And um, I wanna use these same colors to make sure that they match in the soap. So these gummy bears are going into a soap called With a Little Help from My Friends. It's part of our kids line. And it's really super cute. Um, I, uh, I'm running out of bars. So this is a remake for me, but a new soap for you. So what I'll do is I'll do like three lines of each of these colors. And then if there's extra, like I said, we'll move on. So, alrighty, I will see you for the Russian piping tip. Okay, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna lay this out. This is for one of our spring solstice soaps. So what I wanna do is I love the color combination of Johnny Jump Ups, the flower. I'll go ahead and I'll put a picture in so you can see. So we have purple, yellow, and white for these Johnny Jump Ups. Ah, it's not thick enough, guys. So I can't even lay it in my in my uh, uh, glad. What is what is this? Press and seal. Whoo! Jeez, having memory issues today. All right, so we are going to be back. I'll have to wait till this thickens up, so be right back. Okay, it's finally set up enough for me to put it on my press and seal. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. It's kind of funny, the scent that I use for this particular soap has nothing to do with Johnny Jump Ups. I just love the color combination. Okay, I'm not gonna scrape to death. There we go. So, I wanna take my knife and I wanna spread this out as evenly as possible into like a squarish or a rectangle-ish shape. Let me go to the next color. I'm gonna grab my washcloth so I can wipe my hands off. Okay, and then the next color for Johnny Jump Johnny Jump Ups is white, and I want this to just be a little bit. Like there's just a little bit of white. going to spread this out just a little bit. Yay. Perfect. Okay. I'll put that on there. 
and then our yellow. Okay, come on. And again, we're going to spread this out. And it's going to be a while before I'm going to be able to pipe this. With Russian piping tips, like I said um, earlier, I think it was in the lullaby video, that uh, you have to wait until your soap is really, really thick. Like to the point where you think it's not going to be pipeable. Like, I mean, really, really thick. Consistency of a really, really thick buttercream. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to roll this. I want my purple to touch. So we have that in the middle. We're going to grab our ends and we're going to twist them. Well, not perfect, but it'll work. Okay, so this is going to have to sit for quite a bit. And I'll be back. Let me show you the tip I'm using really quick. I am using whoop, this Russian piping tip. So we've got our petals around the outside and then the stamen on the inside. So the petals are going to be, you know, the purple and white and there'll be a little bit of white and then the yellow in the middle so yeah that's what we're going to do and I could have you know with this soap originally I was piping little three leaf Johnny jump ups but it just takes too long and this works way better and I want to show you guys in case you haven't ever seen it or used them or whatever so I will see you when this piping is set up bye bye okay guys it's finally stiff enough and I want to show you I mean, this is stiff. It probably could be a little bit stiffer, but we're gonna try to pipe <clears throat> a few flowers and see how it works. So this is another one that you wanna make sure that your bag is twisted <clears throat> as much as possible. And I'm gonna see if I can't, let me bring you in closer just for a second. Okay, so when you're using the Russian piping tip, you want to make sure that it is flat on the surface. And you press and pull up. There we go. Press and pull up. Yeah, this is... You want to make sure that you always have something to wipe your tip off with, too. Can you guys... Oh, let me do it where you can see it. Ha ha! There we go. Yeah, so it's like, this is a pretty good consistency to, to have these. Oh, that one got messed up. You always want to make more than what you're going to need because, you know, some of them get messed up. It's just the way it works. I'll bring you down closer when I'm done. And you don't want to make them too tall either, because otherwise the design is going to get messed up. We're going to have steady pressure with it. Yeah, some of them are getting messed up. Okay, so hopefully that helps. <clears throat> I'm going to finish piping these. And I don't know if you can see me. <laughs> it's kind of hard to pipe and look at the camera at the same time. I'm sure you can see how many times I'm wiping this tip off, or at least hear it. Because 
we want to make sure that that gets, you know, the flowers are steady. And you want to use a complete even pressure all the way around your bag. Did I say that already? I don't know. We got a few more to go, and then I'll bring you down. Oh, that's <laughs> coming out my tip. I can never get these last ones to even look remotely good. Probably can get one more. Well, maybe two. Okay, maybe three. Uh, no. Okay. All right. Let me uh, bring you down. Hold on one second. So, you can see some of them are messed up, but some of them look fantastic. Focus. Like, I love this one right here. See that? So, yeah. I'm going to leave these on my counter for at least, I don't know, four hours or so before I try to slide it on to a... Uh, baking sheet and put it in my soap room and you will see these on one of the spring collab or spring collab one of the spring solstice soaps so bye bye guys